So if you're a producer, then you'll know exactly what it's like to spend hours and hours looking at the same screen, the same information, the same interface. Now let's face it, Ableton has never been a pretty bit of software to use. If we look at some of the competition like Logic and Bitwig, even Fruity Loops has a nice interface to use. And compared to Ableton, Ableton just feels a little bit dull. So what we're gonna do in this video is have a look at Ableton's feature of being able to use different themes within its software, just to freshen up the interface and make it look nice to you. So when you are spending a good deal of time in a space, it's gonna feel the same each time you get into it. It can be the same with a studio. Sometimes you have to move things around or get rid of some equipment and get some new equipment to just feel fresh again, get that creativity back. And what I'm gonna look at today is doing that within the software, within Ableton. Now Ableton has a great feature of being able to use different themes for its software. So if you get bored of the current look of the software, you can change it for a different theme. Now, this is my version of Ableton 10 on my music production machine. And as you can see, I'm using the default theme. Now I've been using this since I installed Ableton 10 a while ago. I did customize Ableton 9 when I had that, but I haven't done it for Ableton 10 since I installed it. And today I thought I'd do that and I'd show you how you can do that really, really easily. Now, if I go into the live preferences and if I go to the look and feel tab, we can see about halfway down there's a color section. And this allows us to change the look and appearance of Ableton. Under here, we have the theme setting. Now there's five themes within here as default. So we can have a look at these. We've got the mid light, which is the default theme. We can go to light, for example, which is really good if you're in a light environment, like I'm in a light environment today in the studio, kind of balances things out all right. Uh, I can look at the mid dark, which is slightly darker. Uh, and then I can look at the dark theme, which is darker still, which if you're working at night can actually be easier on the, on the eyes. And then we also have the Live 9 theme, which is just slightly different to the Midlight theme, which is the new Ableton 10 theme. So we can change it between the different themes within here. We also have a few different options within here as well. We have the brightness, so we can make the software lighter or darker. And as I say, this is something you can kind of tweak to your taste. You can make it however you want to. We also have color intensity, which allows us to almost put a tint on the software, make it look slightly different that way. And we've got the color intensity, so we can make it a certain uh, brightness of color. And then we can change the hue, which kind of changes what the color is. Um, and obviously that's something you do to your own taste. You can kind of tweak that however you want to. So you have certain options within here as default, which is great. You can keep changing up and do all that kind of stuff. But what if you wanna do something more than that? Well, we can actually install third party themes, themes that other people have created. So a quick Google for Ableton 10 themes or skins. And I came up with this skin by Anthony Milano on a website called DeviantArt. Now DeviantArt is a really great place for graphic designers to showcase their work. But in this case, Anthony has actually uploaded the theme as well. So we can actually download it from this page. And he's also very kindly put instructions to how to install it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this on a Mac. First, I'll download the theme from here. It actually downloads as a zip file, so I'm gonna just unzip it. And there we go, we got the theme file right there, the .ask file. That's the format that Ableton skins come in. So on the Mac, I'm gonna now gonna install this. If I open up a new finder window, and I'm gonna to go to my applications, and I'm gonna find Ableton 10. Now, if I right click on this and go to show package contents, then inside here, go into contents, into app resources, and then into themes. Now this is where all the themes are kept for Ableton. And as you'll notice, these are all the ones that are standardly installed when you get Ableton. And what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna install this one, which is just a case of dragging and dropping it into that folder. Now, if I go back to Ableton, we'll see that that theme isn't in the list yet. So what I need to do is I need to close down the preferences and then reopen them. And then we can see that the new Dark 2 theme is now within here. And if I click on it, it will now install it. Now we can still actually customize it further. We can use the uh, brightness, for example, to make it brighter or darker if we want to. Uh, I think 100% brightness works for this one. We can also change the color intensity as well. So we can give it a slight tint if we want to, any which way we want to. For now, I'm not gonna do any tinting on it. Uh, that's something you can customize as you go along. But if we have a look at this, it's got some really nice color changes here. It's nice and it's a nice dark theme, so it's good to use at night. And if I go through some of these different channels, you can see how it's kind of 
change the interface completely. Some of these like instruments and plugins, they look really different. They look really nice. It's just freshened up the interface. So if you're bored of looking at that same Ableton gray interface, you can very quickly change it using either one of the standard themes or by another theme that you found on the internet. As I say, it's very simple to Google for Ableton 10 theme or skin, and you'll find a whole load of options out there and you'll find the one that looks right for you. So in Ableton 9, I did customize my own skin and I'm actually in the process of moving it over to Ableton 10. As soon as I've got that done, then I'll put it up online for you guys to download. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to it. And also don't forget to hit that notification icon so you're notified whenever I upload a brand new video. I've got a whole load of other stuff like this on my channel so definitely check that out. Uh.